Welcome to this edition of City Spotlight. Here we are at 4545 Fleur Drive at the Fleur Cinema, where we're going to talk to some of our, our guests about Produce Iowa and the 48-hour film project. We have an exciting session. Stick with us. We'll be right back. This is my computer. This is your computer. Let's go on the internet. Let's go. Click it. Yes. Okay. I cursor in between the R and the E. Racing dot. I want you to just push the period. She's gonna love me all over again. That's it. Jamaica, here you come. Here we go. <laughs> Good right. job. Thank you. Thank you. And I did it by myself. Feel smarter. Thank you, Mayor County. I'm here with Liz Gilman, executive producer of Produce Iowa and the newest member of the Department of Cultural Affairs office. Liz, welcome to City Spotlight. Thank you. It's nice to be here. Well, I hear that you have a new position and you're warming into those things. Tell us a little bit about that. New everything. I just started on May 1 and that's when the office opened. Um, the uh, office had been closed since 2008 or 9 I should say mm -hmm. when it was in the Department of uh, Economic uh, Development at that time and now it's moved over to uh, Cultural Affairs and it's called Produce Iowa. Uh, you'll notice I don't have the term film in the title. Um, we want to be open to all things media oh, and just, uh, we're excited. We are building an office and it's it's gonna be a lot of fun. That's really, really exciting. So what exactly is Produce Iowa? Well, we are here to help um, promote and facilitate media production in the state. And we hope to bring economic development to Iowa by doing so. So um, I'll be working with all kinds of media. I mean, you know, a lot has happened in the four years. There's a lot of new technologies. We'll be working with, you know, the gaming and the animation and apps and, oh, wow. you know, all the web uh, programming that's out there. There's just a lot going on besides just film. And so that's what we're all about. So how did you come up with that name, Produce IO? It's pretty unique. Well, it comes down to basically whatever your platform that you're, that you're working on, we want you to produce it here. And so produce was a verb. It's an action. Um, and it uh, doesn't specify any one media because whatever it is, you're going to produce it. Oh, that's so, really that's cool. That's the thought. Very cool. <laughs> so what, all, what are all of the services that you provide and like, who is your intended audience? Who do you welcome to come there? Is it only for professional level people, entry level people? Or what does that look like? Well, right now I'm getting a lot of calls from just a random uh, uh, amount of people coming from other states. Um, I've been dealing with people in London coming here to Des Moines to do some uh, filming. Um, so it's just whoever has a project that they're working on and they want to come to Iowa and they might need help with maybe it's, um, you know, finding a particular area to shoot in. Maybe it's help with finding PAs and, and location help. Um, maybe it's closing down a road and I'm here to kind of help guide them and just connect the dots. Okay, that sounds really, really exciting. I'm sure that Iowa can benefit from that. It's very exciting to hear that people all the way in London yeah. are thinking about coming here to shoot or record or develop their apps or whatever form of media. And, yeah, and that means economic development for everybody. Oh, yes. A lot of hotel stays, restaurants, you know, they work with the construction industry and and they tap a lot of different um, industries here. So. Yeah. It's good for everybody. Yes, the city likes economic development. <laughs> <laughs> um, do you have any short-term goals that you're currently working on in your position? Well, in order to get out and, and um, promote the state, I need to know what there is to promote. So I've been getting out to all different parts of the state. Um, I was just um, in Cedar Rapids and Waterloo and, uh, this week, and I'll be on to Iowa City and, and parts all over the state. So it's, I go in and like to meet the, the city leaders and some of the media people and, and tour some of the studios to know what we have and where people can uh, to work at if they were to come to our state. That sounds like a really good plan. I wish you the best of luck with meeting all of the lovely media people, very creative minds coming together. Now, what do you want Produce Iowa to be known for? When someone says Produce Iowa, or I worked with Produce Iowa, what do you want your message to get out? What, what is that message? I think that, you know, we represent Iowa, and I want everyone to know that we have that Iowa nice here, that uh, we're well-educated, 
we're easy to work with, we're very nice people, and, and we're smart, and, um, and just that I want people to realize that uh, we're trustworthy and um, a place that they want to come and look forward to shooting and, and doing the productions here. Oh, that sounds great. I'm really excited to see the future of Produce IO. I'm very happy that you're on board. Can you tell our viewers how they can get in contact with you? Well, I'd love people to um, like us on Facebook. We have Produce Iowa on Facebook, so get on and, and like that. We're working on a website. It's not The full website's not up and ready yet, but it's produceiowa.com, and so they can find us there. And um, I'm actually down at the State Historical Building right over by the Capitol, so okay. uh, we're welcome to everybody. So on Facebook, Produce Iowa, and then you're working on a website that will be rolling out soon. Uh -huh. And what's that website one more time? ProduceIowa.com. ProduceIowa.com. Yeah, and we hope to have all kinds of databases up and running here soon. And uh, so if people are looking for crew, they can get on this site and find what they need. Okay. You bring your talents to the Department of Cultural Affairs, and I hear that you have a very extensive background. Please tell us about that. Well, I'm an Iowan, and I'm from Iowa, and um, I've been in the West Des Moines area with my own company for, um, gosh, over 20 years. Mm -hmm. So I understand production, and I'm a video producer, and I used to promote Iowa through the Iowan magazine. So I have a background of, of the production world, and then promoting Iowa, and then also I ran my own business. And so I'm a more of a self-starter, since we're starting Produce Iowa from scratch that has come in handy to know how to launch things and how to move forward. Well, we're happy that we can get you from West Des Moines into Des Moines. I live, I live in Des Moines. <laughs> <laughs> so, I, yes, I'm a citizen of Des Moines. Proud <laughs> to like be downtown. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very yeah. much, Liz, for visiting with us. You have a great day. All right, thanks. Right after our break, we're going to be joined by Sam Pace Twami, the Des Moines producer of the 48-hour film project. You don't want to miss this. It's City Spotlight. Read to a child today and spark a lifetime of ambition.
Read to a child today and spark a lifetime of ambition. Hi, I'm John Peterson, the general manager here at the Fleur Cinema Cafe. Uh, if you haven't come out to see us here, uh, what are you waiting for? We've got a tremendous variety of uh, independent films, some foreign films, some documentaries, um, anything that lovers of, of, of quality cinema are, are, are going to enjoy. We even have a few uh, what we call quality Hollywood movies. Um, We've got some great stuff to eat and drink here. We've got beer and wine, a full coffee bar, of course, popcorn, soda, cheesecake, and Rice Krispie bars, which have actually made a list of the top 10 concession items in the United States. Fleur Cinema Cafe, Rice Krispie bars. You're gonna love them. If you want some more information about the Fleur Cinema or have some comments or questions for us, uh, you can go to our website, www.fleurcinema.com. Uh, we're on Facebook, we're on Twitter, we're doing all that stuff. If you have been here before, come on back and bring some people who haven't been here before. They're gonna love it, and they're gonna love you for bringing them here. Thanks a lot. Welcome back to City Spotlight. I hope you found something on the calendar that you or your family can get out and attend. Joining me now is the Des Moines producer for 48 Hour Film Project, Sam Pace Twami. Welcome to City Spotlight, Sam. Thank you so much for having me. So, the big film project is partially underway, but there's one more event that we're expecting to come up. We'll get to that event a little later in the interview. But first, tell us, what is the 48-Hour Film Project? The 48-Hour Film Project is an international organization that challenges filmmakers to make a short film from scratch in just one weekend. Oh, wow. uh, we give them a character, a prop, and a line of dialogue, and everything else is up to them. Everything from writing, shooting, editing, scoring, it all must be done within the 48-hour time period. Then they turn their films in, and they're screened a few days later, and then uh, our judging panel evaluates them, and then we award uh, several awards at the local level, and the winner of Best of City actually goes on to represent Des Moines in the international competition. Oh, wow. Sounds like a very big ordeal. I did not know that it was, it was, it was so broad. It was such a big project going on in several other cities, even other countries. Sure, it's a, it's a uh, worldwide uh, competition. Uh, right now, I think we're in about 135 cities across the United States, and we have, um, you know, basically across the world, we have 48-hour film projects in, in India, and in Vietnam, mm -hmm. and London, and Paris. Uh, so it's continued to grow. It's been an organization uh, for about 13 years now, and it just gets bigger, bigger and bigger every year. Oh, that's, that's a great thing, a great thing. Um, you are the Des Moines producer. Explain to our audience, what is your role? What does that mean that you're the Des Moines producer? Sure, it's my job to make sure that the event is coordinated here in Des Moines and um, all of the teams that are registered uh, are organized, put into screening groups. Basically, I organize the entire event from start to finish. Uh, I'm there as a liaison between the filmmakers and the international organization to make sure that the entire event is carried out and goes off without a hitch. Oh, wow. That's a very big job, Sam. It is. <laughs> it is. This is my uh, eighth year producing it here in Des Moines. It's the ninth year it's been held in Des Moines. Okay. So uh, it's uh, definitely a labor of love. And, you know, over the years, it, uh, it just gets better and better. And I'm always amazed at the amount of talent that we have in the city of Des Moines and in Iowa in general. And it's just a, a real pleasure to bring all those people together and see what they can do in such a short amount of time. Oh, yeah. I'm sure the local filmmakers and videographers really appreciate the film project being here. Can you tell us what does the 48-hour film project bring to the city of Des Moines that no other organization like it brings? 
Well, because we are an international organization, we give filmmakers the opportunity to have their short films that they make as part of the competition screened internationally. We also offer, uh, our Best of City winner has the opportunity to have their film screened at the Cannes Film Festival, which is, is a really big opportunity. And also, um, we give them opportunities for their film to be distributed uh, in social media, also on other DVD compilations, and we work with several other companies um, to try and get their work out there. And we basically give them an opportunity and a framework to be creative, and then once that is done, even if they don't win Best of City, they can take that work and distribute it themselves uh, over the internet or in other film festivals. So we give them a great opportunity to compete locally uh, but also to you know, have a finished product that they can continue to uh, enter in contests, etc. after the 48's done. The 48's kind of just the beginning of it, and yeah. uh, the end is wherever the filmmakers want to take it. Yeah, There has to be some great exposure as well if someone in India gets to see a film from someone in Des Moines. So. You know, it's, it is really great. In 2005, the first year we were in Des Moines, the uh, winner of Des Moines went on to win the international competition wow. and really helped put Des Moines on the map as far as yeah. the 48 is concerned and we're still one of the largest competitions per capita in the entire 48 uh, organization so it's uh, it's great exposure for our city and for our filmmakers and we hope it gives them an opportunity to be creative whether they're a professional and they do it 365 days a year or whether this is the only time of year that they may make a film. Either way, we provide them with the opportunity to be creative. Plus, we show them at this great venue here, the Fleur Cinema, um, they have a chance to have their film screened before sold out audience and get that exposure as well, which our filmmakers really appreciate. I bet, I bet. Thanks for putting Des Moines on the map. We really appreciate it. I love being here. I went to high school here in Des Moines, uh, went away for college, but then came back. But and once I came back to the city and realized how many, how many how many changes have been made and how great of <clears throat> how much support there is for the arts and for culture in the yes. city uh, I never wanted to leave and now I'm at a point in my life where I don't want to live anywhere else this is the city where I live and this is the city where I work and I'm very proud to say that that makes us very happy to hear that so back to the the lineup or how things are going to go sure. for the 48 hour film project can you mm -hmm. take us through that um, just briefly with the dates, I know you mentioned earlier the process of the different screenings. Sure. Uh, mm -hmm. Well, the, some of the hard part, the filmmaking has already been completed. Uh, we had 50 teams of filmmakers register here in Des Moines. Yes. And uh, on July 26, we kicked it off at the Des Moines Arts Center. We gave them their character, prop, and line of dialogue, and they actually drew their genre out of a hat. They made their films from scratch, and then they turned them here two days later at the Fleur Cinema and Cafe. Uh, and then just a few days after that, we had a wonderful round of screenings where we screened uh, all of the films that were made in that event weekend. And now uh, our judges are reviewing those entries and we'll be deciding the awards very soon. And the public is welcome to see the best of the best. Uh, our best of city screening is going to actually happen on August 15th here at the Fleur Cinema at 7 p.m. You'll be able to see the top 12 films of 2013 screened in no particular order. And then immediately following the screening, we're going to be giving out all the cash and prizes, including $1,000 cash for our Best of City winner. Wow. That's a lot happening in a very short amount of time. Yeah, the 48 <laughs> is a series of events, not just one event, because from you know kickoff all the way through the initial screenings, there's several opportunities for our filmmakers and for the public to get involved. So if someone's seeing this and not able to make it on the 15th, uh, but they'd like to know more about it, we're definitely going to be back next year. It'll actually be our 10th year in Des Moines, mm -hmm. and it's going to be even bigger and better than it is this year. Oh, that's great. So you said the best of the best will be the top 12 films? Is that 12 out of the ones that were submitted in Des Moines or? Uh, yeah, this is all Des Moines wide. screenings. Everything okay. that we'll show here at the floor was created in Des Moines. And the films that screen on the 15th, everybody has won something. They just don't know what. And they'll find out immediately following the screening. This sounds like a really nice project. I mean, you as the producer putting that all together has to be a great task. So kudos to you for bringing more attention to Des Moines and giving people a way to express themselves through the arts here. We really do appreciate that. Can you repeat one more time how you can be contacted or how someone can get in contact with the 48 Hour Film Project? Absolutely. You can find everything on our website, which is 48hourfilm.com backslash Des Moines. From there, you'll find out uh, how you can purchase tickets, who's participated this year and in years past. You'll find my contact information, links to our Facebook and Twitter page, 
Everything is on our main site. Again, that's 48hourfilm.com backslash Des Moines. And if you have any questions, you're welcome to email me. I'd be happy to answer them. And I, I want to take a second and say that um, it's not just me that puts this on. I have a great staff of people that help every year. And it's really the, the filmmakers and the people of this city and the surrounding community that make it all possible. They're the ones that come out and see the screenings every year. Uh, and they keep it going. And we could not be happier and feel more supported than we do uh, by the people of Des Moines and, and the state of Iowa. How does an event like this come together? Do you have any partners? or it, Are they just financial support? Or are they, like, what kind of partnership? Sure, we have a ton of sponsors that help uh, implement the 48-hour film project. And they range everything from you know, word of mouth or, or assistance in helping get the word out about the registration or the event in particular. Uh, the Des Moines Arts Center uh, sponsors us by letting us use their fabulous theater uh, for our kickoff event. And places like the Fleur Cinema, which we've been screening here since the beginning. Yeah. Uh, we have a great partnership with the Fleur. They provide not only financial support, um, but a wonderful venue for uh, our shows to be uh, screened in. And I, I really don't think uh, we would show the 48 anywhere but the floor. They've been a tremendous partner. They're a big sponsor of independent filmmaking, and we are very lucky and, and very ha uh, happy to be partnered with them to produce a 48-hour film project. And I should also mention other organizations that do a lot in the city, like the Des Moines Social Club. They've been a, a, a large sponsor. They help uh, supply some of the pr uh, money for the prizes. And one of your guests earlier, uh, Liz Gilman and Produce Iowa, they're actually in their first, you know, they just came together and they're actually uh, sponsoring the 48 this year as well uh, with some financial support. Again, all of the money that these local organizations give goes right back to our filmmakers and spent right here in our community. So it's, uh, you know, a lot of these companies are investing uh, not only in the 48, but are putting back uh, money back into the local economy as well. Mm -hmm. Uh, because we're going to give that money right to our filmmakers and uh, they're going to spend it here. Right, and that's exactly what we want to hear. Sam, this interview has been great. I want to thank you very much for your time. Thank Best you of so luck much. to you. Thank Thanks. you. Well, you have heard it here first. Filmmaking is alive in our very city, Des Moines, Iowa, and we are here to make it a better chance for you. Mary County, I got the scoop. Back to you. I want to thank Liz Gilman for being on our show today with Produce Iowa and also Sam Pace Twami for educating us and letting us know what's going on with films in Iowa and producing things in and around Iowa. Till next time, I'm Mayor Frank County, and this is City Spotlight.